welcome you back to this lesson. And we are dealing with motion under gravity. Motion that is influenced by the Earth's gravitational force. I told you we have three main examples of motion that are greatly affected by the Earth's gravitational force. One of them is to project a body at an angle to the horizontal. And here, I will just draw for you to see what I mean. I have this horizontal line or plane. Horizontal plane. And I have this body. And that body has been shot up at a certain angle to this horizontal plane. The body travels up, 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 and this is what we see. The body comes back, back. It comes back. Now, it comes back because of the Earth gravitational force pulling it down. So eventually, that body comes down. Look, I have this ball to demonstrate for you to see what I mean by a body shot at an angle. Now, can you see this blue ball? Can you see it? Now, just watch the track of this ball as the ball leaves. I'm going to shoot this ball. I'm going to project it. So watch it carefully. Carefully. You saw that, and I'm going to repeat it. I still have my ball, and I'm, to go, I'm going to project it at an angle and watch it. You see, the ball goes along this track. Something is pulling it down. Now, if there is no force, the ball will travel up, 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 and will leave. But because of the Earth's gravitational force, it comes down, finally. Students, I always want to tell you this, and I, and I know that I've mentioned this before. Anytime schools are having competition, sports competition, athletics, I want you to have a critical look next time when you go to the stadium. Critical look at the way they threw the javelin and the way they threw the discus. Now they threw the discus and the javelin, the two of them, at an angle like this. It goes up, 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 and it comes down. Finally, it comes down. And this is the motion we are talking about. Now, this type of motion is also given a special name. And we call it projector motion projector motion now projector motion first of all is a motion affected by gravity or influenced by gravity and secondly it is a motion of a body shot at an angle into space an angle to the horizontal into space it is shot into space at an angle to the horizontal. We want to look at a second example of motion under gravity. Oh, and that one is so simple. Very, very simple. Look, if a body is held at a height, a body is held at a height, above the ground and you leave it without you pushing the body you are just holding the body and you leave it without you pushing it the body on its own will fall the body on its own will fall what is happening there's something pushing it 
and that is the earth gravitational force and as i said the earth is drawing all bodies to itself so the earth the moment you leave it now the earth will draw it and the body comes vertically down what about if the body is thrown up from the ground and when it is thrown up from the ground this body is faced with the anger of the earth gravitational force the earth gravitational force becomes so angry when you do this and it will resist that motion and that is why you throw it up 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 the body slows down it gets to a point it stops and then it is forced it is forced back that motion going up is influenced by the earth gravitational force and that is why the body will slow up I will demonstrate it for you to see. I still have my ball with me. And I'm holding the ball. I'm just holding it. And it has been raised a certain distance above the ground. I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. The ball on its own comes down. <laughs> I will do that again. This is the ball. It comes down. Such a motion is called vertical motion under gravity. Vertical motion under gravity. We haven't finished. I'm going to throw this ball up and let's see what happens. I'm going to throw this ball up to see what happens. Now watch it carefully. It comes back. What is happening? I'll throw it again. It comes back. The ball moved up vertically and then came back because something is drawing it and that is the earth gravitational. And as I said, such a motion is simply called vertical motion under gravity. And the last one, the last one, is a motion on an inclined plane motion on an inclined plane now when we say a plane a plane is any flat surface plane is any flat surface all right and so this board this board you see here is a flat surface so that is a plane but because it has been held vertically, I'm going to call this one a vertical plane. Now, the table you see here is a flat surface, but it has been mounted horizontally. And so I'm going to call this one a horizontal plane. Okay, here we are. Now, this is also a flat surface, and therefore we can call it a plane. But you see, it is neither horizontal nor vertical. It has been inclined at a certain angle. And so we shall call this one an inclined plane. Let's see what happens to a motion along this. And again, I will demonstrate that using my ball. I will hold the ball at the top edge here I'm not going to push it I won't do that I'm not going to push it but I'm going to leave the ball the ball on its own moves down then there might be a force causing this 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 body to roll down look in the absence of any force the body will have to stay there we have defined forces and we said a force is anything that can change the state of a body so if the ball is held here and the ball on its own will roll down oh come on then there is a force and that force is what we are calling the earth gravitational force so such a motion is simply a motion under gravity gravity is influencing this motion 
I want to throw the ball up. And let's see what happens. And before the ball can move up the inclined plane, that ball must first be given a push. It must first be given an energy. It must first be given an impulse. Or it must first be given a velocity. So I'm now going to throw it up. And let's see what happens. I'm throwing it up the plane. It comes back. The ball could not move up, 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 and forever travel up the plane. Something stopped the ball along the path and forced it back. And I will do that again. That is what gravity can do. And that is what we are called motion under gravity. So, this motion under on an inclined plane, a simple diagram is like this. This is the inclined plane. And this is the horizontal at an angle theta. And then motion takes place along this. This is what we are calling motion under gravity. So you see, these are the main three areas of motion under gravity that we are going to discuss. We shall take them one by one. And we shall deal with them into details. I hope you are itching to see us again. I'll be coming back.